Here is a nice example of a papillary hydradenoma. An alternative term is hydradenoma papilliferum. These lesions occur exclusively in women in the anogenital region. They are benign and derived from the anogenital mammary-like glands. They most frequently occur in the vulva and the mean age at which they occur is around 50. Grossly, papillary hydradenomas are well circumscribed dermal lesions, and most are less than 2 cm in diameter. Architecturally, they are composed of asini, tubules, papillae, and cysts, and they resemble breast intraductal papillomas. They have two cell layers, an outer myoepithelial layer, and an inner secretory cell layer that sometimes has an apocrine-like appearance and the cells usually have apical snouts. This papillary hydrodenoma is actually arising within a cyst. And as we move to a higher magnification you can see that the lesion is composed of asini tubules and papillae and here the inner epithelial cells have well developed apical snouts and finally the layer of cells with the clear cytoplasm is the layer of myoepithelial cells.